I put these sweet peas in this baggie a couple days ago. We're gonna see how they're doing. I've been checking on them every day. Uh, and I have a pot ready to go to put them in. I'm ultimately gonna build a trellis, um, but I don't wanna do that while I've got them inside and moving them around and stuff. So I just wanted to mark out uh, where the posts for the trellis would go so I don't plant anything right there. Let's take a look and see what's inside of our peas here. Ooh, got some germination today. Look at that. Oh, let's see if I can grab one. There we go. Look at that. They're ready. Some of them, some of them aren't quite ready. There we go. Nothing yet on that one. So I think I'm going to plant the ones that are ready. Uh, and give the ones that aren't another day. Let's keep them moist. Of course I got it dirty. <sighs> and I'm gonna have you do a couple. And then I'll finish out the rest, okay? Okay. So I think what I'm gonna do is one, two, three, four, five, six, beep, seven, beep, eight. So we'll do an inner ring of eight. Okay. And a ring? Mm -hmm. Take this one and put it in one of those holes. Good. Okay, my turn. I'm going to put this one in here. Yeah, my mm -hmm. turn. Okay, be very careful of its root. Right there. Yeah, put it in. Good job. Put it in its root. Yeah, put it in. I put it in. Are you going to do all of them? Nope, the rest aren't ready yet. These aren't quite ready. I'm gonna give them another day. So we've got six in here so far. These six holes. I think I'm just gonna try to mark where these are. This is probably overkill, but you know, <laughs> what does it matter? Two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. I got five. Did I say six earlier? Okay, so I got these three holes open still, uh, and I'll do, ultimately I'll do a second ring. They should poke their heads up pretty quickly since they've germinated. Right after I planted those, I started a second round of seeds. I put these in a paper towel, wet the paper towel, stick it in a Ziploc bag, and watch it every day to see if I get germination. You can see the difference in size here. Some of them don't absorb water without getting a little nick in its seed coat if they're not swelling, increasing in size with the water. Get a little nail scissor and just clip the outer seed coat. They spend a couple of days germinating in the baggie and then about a week after I plant them, we have little sprouts up. Here you can see these uh, two cute little sprouts from the first round that I put in that you watched earlier. And this is about a month later, and the first round of sprouts are up and big, and we have the little small rounds from the last batch that I put in. And here's all of them together. And they're a pretty little container, having their nice sun bath outside. About three months from germination, you can see that we've got some size. 
They're definitely trailing and flowers. Look at this beautiful thing. So like I said earlier, these are sweet peas knee-high fragrant mix okay they are a dwarf mix of old fragrant varieties uh, they grow to about two and a half feet so they don't need trellising you can see they do dangle though which is nice i had intended to build a small trellis for these uh, if you remember the four sticks that i put in there when i was initially planting and then decided that it wasn't really necessary that they would uh, just dangle nicely over the side of this pot Their flowers are violet, crimson, lilac, dark purple, and white. They have a lightly fragrant honey smell. They need to be planted in full sun, and they are frost tolerant. They don't like heat too much, so they are a spring or fall kind of plant. Sweet peas. That pretty blue one. About two weeks after the first flowers, they started to form up their seed pods. You could deadhead these flowers and they would bloom more, but I decided I wanted to be able to collect the seed pods and use them for seeds next year. So the seed pods ripened in about two weeks. And that's about a month after the first flowers. And then they were brown and dry and ready to harvest. Once it really started getting hot, I put these in an area that gets afternoon shade. So they got good morning sun and then they were protected from the heat of the day in the afternoon. I do think that helped prolong the blooms and keep the plant healthy in the heat. I continued to have blooms to about the beginning of August and I just finished harvesting the last of the pods here in mid-August. So that was my first time growing these knee-high fragrant sweet peas. Uh, I consider it a success and I have some seeds for next year. Uh, I'm going to keep these in this little uh, paper envelope and over the winter they'll store in this and then uh, come spring I'll plant them again.